What's up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel! Woo! If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And today, we're going to be trying Nigerian food for the very first time! Yay! Before we get started, you guys already know, it's shout out time. So first, my commenters that comment hashtag Chimmy Squad on our mukbang videos get a shout out. Thank you so much to Sunia Septiani, Panda Gamer, Wada Humayun, Tessin SXOX, and Anas Abasi. Yay! Yay! Thank you guys so much. Make sure to comment down hashtag Chimmy Squad for a shout out on our next mukbang, mukbang video. So we have a beautiful platter right here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, it smells so good. So good. So this right here is a goosey with chicken. This is supposed to be some type of stew. And I don't know what those vegetables are called. But if you guys know, comment down below. We have jollof rice in the middle right here with some plantains. And this jollof rice looks so amazing, guys. Look at those fried plantains on top of that. Mmm. And we also have some chicken. Don't know what this is called. If you guys know this, comment down below. Mmm, look at that chicken. I'm excited for this one. Seriously. And then some fufu, which is pounded yam. Oh my gosh. And let me tell you guys, everything smells so different. This one, I'm getting like a tomato scent. This one is a little savory. This one has a little stink to it. But you know, yeah. stinky foods always hit different, so it does. Before we start, let's say grace. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Cheers. Look at you, look at you trying to go in without the cheers. <laughs> Our traditional cheers. I'm gonna rush. <sighs> My eyes are really getting watery. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for the jollof off rice. It smells amazing. Okay, me too. Wait, this rice tastes like tomato-y yet savory. So much flavors in that rice. It's so good. Honestly, I could eat the rice by itself. There's like Honestly. little bits in here. Uh, oh, I think they're tomato bits, no? I think so. I see like red. Yeah, I see little red bits. Mm. Oh, this is so good. It's good by itself. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Fire. Mmm. Let's try this one. Okay. So this is supposed to be some type of stew. Fine, let's cut it all. Which one's it like? This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Alright. And then I'm going to the Kaya Bae Bo. Oh, she I'm always gets you. the good part. This works. This works. I did it too, though. For me, it works. Not for you. Fine. Look at that. It's just dangling. Guys, look at all of those seasonings and those little vegetable pieces stuck around. Oh my gosh. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, what are these things around it? Is it like tofu or is it beans? It reminds me of that one Korean soup. Pijichiga. Pijichiga. That yeah. one looks like that one has bean. Mm hmm This kind of looks like it. It's like cloudy like this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna get some rice with that. Mm. There you go. Oh my goodness. Oh we're chopping it. Oh no no no. Mmm. Mm. The outside? It's kind of on the crunchier side, but the inside, soft. so soft. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. Mm. Dude, this place is legit. Guys, and they're so kind and oh my gosh, they're so nice. It reminds me of like a mom and pop type of business, right? Yeah. I want to try the fufu though. Okay, fine. I've been eyeing that. I swear, you guys, I saw Carrie Hilson eat this. And I was so curious, I was like, what is that? I love Carrie Houston, oh my gosh. Dude, she's so pretty and so talented. Okay, okay I saw her dip, sauce. yeah. So cool. Mmm. Is it yam? Mm-hmm, it doesn't taste like yam. It tastes like mashed potato. Huh. The feeling is mashed potato. That's really interesting. That's interesting. 
And the texture, it feels amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm. Guys, together it tastes so amazing. It's good. Mm. Okay, now we have to try this chicken. That looks mm -hmm. so good. I think they're wings. Knives are usually like drumsticky. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. It kind of tastes like it was fried before it was put in the soup or something. Yum. Right? Because the outside has its little crunch, but the inside, like I mentioned, saw so saw. Mm. So this is food from Nigeria. Has any of our subscribers tried this before? Let us know. Okay. Sorry guys, <clears throat> I don't even want to talk right now, it's so good. Mm. I'm gonna be craving this jollof off like crazy. I can't believe I've never tried jollof off before. I have always wanted to go to Africa mm. because I mean a lot of good things come from Africa. Diamonds were from Africa. You know the you know the batteries in our phone was from Africa. Really? Yeah. Africa has really rich in like a lot of precious rocks and minerals and all that. Mm. I remember I learned this in school. I did a paper on Congo because they have bonobos in Congo, and bonobos are the most similar monkey type of species. As humans like they have empathy I read in this book that bonobos actually prostitute <laughs> they will sell a cane of sugar in return for sex bonobos bonobos yeah this is an animal yeah they're they're like gorilla looking animals oh my god yeah, and that species the woman is the head of the mm. yeah I found it really interesting bonobos live in a matriarchal society yeah it's so strange but really fascinating. They're the closest to human beings. This tomato tasting soup is so good. Whatever, this is so good. <clears throat> I need to know the name. How am I gonna order it again? I know. So good. Woo! Okay, so if you guys don't see any food that you personally like from Nigeria and it's not here, let us know. Because we can definitely do like a part two. Mm -hmm. Or. If you are from Africa and you want us to try your country's food, let us know. If we can find it. Yeah, <clears throat> if we can find them. Mm -hmm. We were so lucky with this. Oh my god. Um, Inglewood has a lot of African food, so that was clutch. It's like 20 minutes away from where we live. Inglewood, California. <laughs> gosh, it's so aesthetically pleasing too. Mm. I've been dying to try that. That's <clears throat> definitely a unique one. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, in Korea, we have something that looks like this. It's called wangmandu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks like this, right? Yeah. yeah. Usually inside, we have like beef, dumpling like vegetables. Stuff. Yeah. I think I'm most shocked with this roll off, though. This is really good. Oh my gosh, I forgot the plantain. You want plantain? I typically eat plantain like towards the end of the meal. That's true. Just because I don't like sweet with savory, but let's try. Mm. I love plantain. This one is not too sweet, which is really good. Mm -hmm. I don't like it when they're too sweet. I like it when they're about to get sweet, but it's more on like the potato-y side. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Actually, 
I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some of the sauce and just <gasps> mix it in there. It's like tomato on tomato action, but it's not too much. It's perfect. So. It's good. I'm gonna do that after. That looks good. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. So good. The name Jolof sounds so cute. It's like Olaf. I know. <laughs> Jolof. Olaf with the J. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Mmm. 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 would really like this. But. Korean food is not good. Mmm. I don't think so. Maybe an Itaewon. Yeah. Because when I went to Itaewon, they had Indian food. They had a lot of like African Ghana food from Ghana. What? Mm -hmm. Really? I saw like small Itaewon little. Itaewon is kind of like the the foreigners' land of Korea. Like if you want to work at a restaurant in Itaewon, one of the necessities is learning English, like knowing English. Oh wow! But I think it's a really good idea for people to branch off and share their culture in Korea. Cause I don't know Itaewon. Filled with so many different culture food. Mm. It's perfect. I love Winnetan. So guys, thank you to one of our Chemi Squad recommendations. I started watching the Korean drama, It's Okay to Not Be Okay. I don't know. I started it. It was a Chemi Squad member that told you to watch it? Yeah. They said that it was on Netflix, so I started watching it. And it's actually pretty fun. I didn't read that comment. Interesting. I need to know how to make this jollof rice. It's so good. Literally, while I was drinking this, I was thinking of asking you guys if anyone knows the recipe to a good jollof, comment it down below, please. I mean, we can find one on YouTube, but if you guys know, that would be more fun. You That's know? like more personal. Personal, yeah. I don't know. Eh? References are more reliable, you feel. <laughs> and if you're watching us, we already know you're cool, so. <laughs> <clears throat> If you're from Nigeria and you're new here, we also do reactions, like first time reactions to music from different cultures. So if you guys know any good Nigerian, I don't know, I guess pop or <coughs> music, music, any Nigerian music, comment it down below. We'd yeah. love to do a reaction to that as well. Yeah. I just don't know any. I don't know any either. Mm -hmm. But that's like the fun of it, you know? Yeah. I know this place is known for the Egusi though. Remember? We saw the LA Times. Mm -hmm. Right here. It um, kind of has like peat in there, like enzyme to get wood, but not as severe. Oh, I had a burp in those. One of those burps. Oh, oh, like, yeah. you're tearing. Are you full full? No, should I want to. Are you full full? <laughs> Didn't. <laughs> Wait, why aren't you laughing? I thought it was so funny. I wasn't that funny. But I'm really crying. It was a little clever. Personally, I think the star of this meal was the jollof rice and this chicken. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So do we have to do that again? This is one of the fastest videos we've recorded. I think because literally. we literally went a ham. Hold on, look at the time. Wow. Yeah. Nigerian food, 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. I love our channel. I mean, we're learning so many new cultures and their food. It's kind of nice to appreciate other cultures' food because there's so much division going on in today's world. Food and music just brings people together, you know? Yeah, we forget that we're all part of the same human race. We all have different cultures, but you know what? We can learn to embrace one another, you know? Yeah. Learn, educate, don't hate. Educate, don't hate. Educate, don't hate. <laughs> if you guys want to correct us on anything or educate us on this food or on this culture, comment down below. We're always open to learning more. We love fun facts. Love it. Mm. Okay, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, that subscribe, that post notification bell. Ding! If you guys haven't already, make sure to go ahead and follow our TikTok account and our joint Instagram account. And we will see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.